Hey guys, it's Sean here. For the next three days, we're gonna be hiking the roller coaster, a particularly challenging part of the Appalachian Trail. There's gonna be steep hills, rocky terrain, and lots of good food. And we're bringing you guys along for the ride. It's about 8.30, and we finally started our trek. Well, we're on the Appalachian Trail, and we've gone a little less than a mile, and it's starting to slow down with the rain. So we only have a few more miles left before we get to camp, I'm hoping but by that time, the rain will have completely stopped. There's also just been so many rocks and they're all slippery in the rain. It's hard not to slip and get hurt. And the good thing about the Appalachian Trail is about every 100 feet, it's marked with these white blazes, which makes it really hard to get lost. See right there is another one of the white blazes. Well, we've made it to a rocky outcropping that's called Bear's Den and you can see a town out there. I think it might be Leesburg, Virginia, but I'm not sure. Well, I looked it up and it's actually Berryville, not Leesburg. Look what we found, we found a toad. We finally made it to a stream, and that means we have about a mile and a half left before we set up camp. I've been here one time before, and the last time, the, uh, I guess the stream was a lot higher and harder to cross, but this looks pretty, pretty easy. So we just climbed 500 feet of elevation, actually, almost 600 feet. And that's why they call it the, the roller coaster. And it's because there's so many uphills and downhills. There it is. There's no one here. There's no one at the shelter. It means we can sit down here and cook food. Gosh, this is wonderful. I doubt anyone's gonna get there here this late. It wasn't even that long of a hike. It was like uh, almost four miles, but just the rain and the slippery rocks and the terrain made it so long. It just took forever to get here. <laughs> I am very happy that we're able to stay in the shelter tonight. Don't really feel like setting up my tent. So this will be a nice change. <laughs> well, I was thinking of starting a fire, but I think things are too damp. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some food cooked up. Red lentil, butternut squash, and coconut. So I'm gonna cook that curry dish with this little stove. <laughs> one thing about shelters on the Appalachian Trail is in the winter time, usually there's no one there. And you can just kind of have the whole place to yourself. In the summertime though, you can basically count your odds that there's always gonna be someone at the shelter or someone who arrives at the shelter after you that you're gonna have to share it with. This is the doll. This is so good. Piping hot. Mm. Isn't that good? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have it with crackers. No, that's really good. Mm. Hot. I'm pretty cold, so I think I'm gonna make some hot chocolate. My hot chocolate overflowed. It sure does smell good. I'm getting pretty cold, so I'm gonna try to get to bed soon. All right, guys, I'm about to get into bed. It's been a long night, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Got a lot of adventures tomorrow. I'll see you then. I wanted to start a fire and have some breakfast, and, but I don't know if I'll be able to start a fire. Everything's still soaked. We don't have that far to go today. We have 6.9 miles to the next shelter, but the terrain is not ideal. How did you sleep? I slept pretty well. It was almost a little too warm. Is this new sleeping bag keeping you stuck? Trying my new sleeping bag out. Well, Emma's down at the creek, and she's filling up her bottles. In the meantime, I'm over here starting a fire. Well, guys, what I have for breakfast is an apple turnover. And the fire's not huge, 
but it's big enough just to warm this thing up. So we're gonna put it in the coals. Maybe that'll light. <coughs> just maybe. Well, I think my apple turnover is done. Oh, where did the apple go? I think the apple fell to the other side. This is good. Each shelter on the Appalachian Trail has a little log book, at least almost all of them. And the log book is just where you can put in, I guess, you know, what you're doing, how the night went, if you enjoyed the place. And so I wrote something in there. It's just a nice way to see, you know, who else is on the trail, who else is using the shelter as well. This shelter also had some bear spray here. We're at the Sam Moore shelter, and the goal is to get to this next shelter in 6.9 miles. So this is where we are right here. We're gonna go up this hill, then we're gonna go down, and then up. There's a campsite, and then up and down, past some parking, and then up and back down, and then up and back down. And then finally, we're gonna make it here to the Rod Hollow shelter in about uh, seven miles. All right, guys, we just got done packing. Everything is ready, and we're about to head out on the trail. Man, this terrain is so steep. There's no wonder it's called the roller coaster. We've been just going up and down like these 700 foot sections. And we're probably only a third to the top of this one. Here on the East Coast, the, whoever built the Appalachian Trail, whoever, you know, whoever created it, they just, they just completely forgot about the idea of switchbacks. Apparently on the West Coast and like the PCT Trail, there's lots of switchbacks and the ground is flat. But here, it's rocky, no switchbacks. They just cut the trail right up the mountain. Uh, but that was a pretty brutal hill, but we finally just about made it to the top, to the spot called Buzzard Hill. We're gonna have some snacks. Try to recover our strength before we continue. Break great or use within three days. Okay. Something I've learned is that when you're on these trips, Fruit really hits the spot. Mm -hmm. I always forget to bring fruit. But lately I've been remembering apple, clementines, whatever it is. I like clementines because they don't get squished in your bag. Well, I think we're gonna get going. We're gonna head down. There's a few more stream crossings. Then we have a few more hills to climb. And then we're gonna have lunch once we get to this uh, wooden footbridge. Well, we made it to this little creek and it's actually flowing. We still have a few miles until we stop to cook some lunch. One thing about the Appalachian Trail is there's a lot of streams, but in the, you know, at this time of year in the fall, a lot of them are dried up actually. But if you come here in the spring, you'll find that they're all flowing very well. I think Emma's gonna get some water. So I have PTSD from our last backpacking trip in Pennsylvania where everything was dried up and we were really scared we actually weren't gonna have enough water. So now I feel like every time I see something flowing with really good water, I have to stop and get water. Well, we finally made it to our spot. We're gonna have lunch at this little hollow right here with the bridge and everything. Yeah, it's so nice to have one of these chairs. Just relaxing for lunch. It's so nice. Oh man. That looks so good. Yep. I wonder if I'll eat the other half of it. Got my ramen cooking. Like a, like, I don't know if you ever use electric fly swatter. You want to taste? Yes, please. Some rocks fell off the fire pit here and landed on my stove and bent it, but I was able to bend it back. It's right here, it was just bent down to the side. We've finished up lunch here by the river, and now we're about to trek up some pretty tough terrain, just going straight up this next mountain up here. One thing I've noticed about the autumn foliage is that Although a lot of the leaves have changed, a lot still haven't. And some of them haven't changed at all. And it's making me wonder if there's certain species of trees that just don't change. You know, they're, they're not evergreen trees, but they're just not changed at all. I think they might just drop their leaves or something without even changing. Or maybe the climate's not cold enough here. We've almost made it to the summit of Piney Ridge. And it's getting really windy up here. But once we're up at the top of this hill, we have one more hill after this. And then I think we're gonna be almost to camp. A lot of these leaves are really dry. Back down at the base of the hill, all the leaves are still wet from last night. I'm hoping though 
by the time we get to our camp, you know, the sticks and the leaves will be a little bit drier, so we'll be able to start a, a campfire tonight. We've begun our descent. We have a little less than a mile to go until we get to camp. There we have it. We finished the roller coaster. Of course, this says entering the roller coaster because this is for the people heading northbound, but we finished it heading southbound. We finally made it to the side trail of the Rod Hollow Shelter, and we're hoping that it'll be a quiet spot without a lot of people. So the shelter's up there, up this trail, along with the privy. But I like this site, it's right next to the stream, and it's kind of secluded. So I think we're gonna stay here for the night. I think soon we're gonna to start to cook dinner and kind of set up our tents and get ready to go to bed. We'll see if it eventually kind of... We made it through the roller coaster, so now we're gonna have some victory worms. They're victory worms this time, not failure worms like times before. Mm. Okay. Man, this looks so cozy in here. I'm looking forward to sleeping in here tonight. We got a big pile of wood here, all ready for the evening. Well guys, it's getting late and the fire's still going and we've been watching a few videos just kind of relaxing by the fire, keeping each other warm. I think we're going to cook some pesto pasta, some dehydrated food and I got a chocolate bar. After that I think we're going to... You have peanut M&M's? Mm -hmm. After that I think we're going to probably get ready for bed. My leg here is like roasting. I'm trying to like put my back to it. It's whole, my whole right side is just like on fire right now. Look at this pesto pasta. Obviously it hasn't like created like a sauce really, but the flavor. Oh yeah. Wow. It tastes like a full on pesto. Well guys, I've gotten into bed. We hung up the food to keep it away from the bears and you know any other animals that are out here. I will see you guys in the morning. Have a good night. Well, good morning, guys. I just woke up. <coughs> I slept okay. Not that great, but I think this tent's slightly on a slope. It rained a bit last night, um, so everything's a little bit wet, but I'm gonna get up and I think I'm gonna cook myself some breakfast, some oatmeal, uh, and then we're gonna get packed up and we're gonna get out of here. It's a beautiful morning outside, though. The sun's out. Good morning. Well, wow, everything in the fire pit burned up. We have about three and a half miles to hike out today, and then I think we're gonna go get Chinese food.
Well, I can't remember if I told you guys, but we put one car at our beginning spot on the trail and one car at our end spot on the trail. The terrain has been so much smoother today than it has been the past two days. It's not as rocky, it's just a lot easier. So we've been making pretty good time. All right guys, well we made it to the car. We really enjoyed this hike. We hope you enjoyed it as well. If you like this video, consider subscribing. We make videos like this all the time and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.